Hey guys, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living, and today is Sunday, August 27th, and I'm home with just three little people with me today. Um, the other kids have gone to Weymouth or on visits or things like that, so I have two big girls and one baby. So I just went to the store, just down in the village here, got a package of English muffins, and I'm going to use up some leftover stuff that was in my kitchen. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you know it was Misha's birthday the other day. So we have a little bit of leftover cheese, a little bit of leftover pizza meat, and I have some tomato sauce, Parmesan cheese, oregano, and Italian seasoning. So I'm going to get this set up, uh, the cheese grated, and I'll be back. Scratch that, guys. I don't feel like making supper tonight. I think I'm going to bring Mally in to do it for me. But I'll just show you the quick setup. There's some meat cut up, English muffins separated, the spices ready to rock. That that's the oregano on that little plate right there. I'm just she can just do a little pinch on each one, and the cheese and the sauce. So, Mally, what? I need you to make supper for me tonight. What is it? <laughs> English muffin pizzas. All right. Mally, I'll just show you the first one, how much sauce you should put on it, because um, we don't want to make it all soggy, right? So I've got the, pre the oven preheating at 375, guys, and this is just straight out of the can. I want to make my uh, homemade English muffins one of these days, but today's just not one of those days. So, you see, it just we're not going to put a whole bunch on it, but just to cover it. And then you can, this is the oregano, Mally. Just take a little pinch and pinch it on. Mally just got done washing her hands real good, guys. And here's Italian seasoning. You can just give it a little shake. Not very much, just on. Good. And then put a, you can put the Parmesan cheese, a little cheese, and then the meat. Easy peasy, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kids in the kitchen, it's a good thing. Okay, Mally's all done. The oven's at 375 and we're going to bake them for 10 minutes. Yes. Mom, so you assist me? I will open the oven. Now the oven's hot, the pan is not. Can you not yet. There, perfect. Now just shut the oven door. And we'll set the timer for 10 minutes, and we'll see how they turn out. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, here, Mally, use the other mitt. So the buzzer just went off. Mally wants to attempt to take this out. I know it's dangerous, um, so we're going to do it very carefully. Pull the door down all the way so it doesn't come back up and hit you in the arms. Yeah, pull that out. Good job. Put it on top of the stove. So we checked it. We're going to put it in for another five minutes because it's not super toasted on the bottom. Yeah. Perfect, Mally. And we'll set the timer for another five minutes. Okay, Mally. Taste test time. <laughs> Give it a whirl. It's still hot. Woo. She's got a freezy going on to chase it with. They're crunchy, huh? Are they toasted? Yeah. Chewy. Do they taste like pizza? Good. So should we make this again sometime? Definitely. Or should I say, you'll make this for the family again sometime? Oh, yes. yes <laughs> All right, guys. 
thanks for joining us. Please like, share, and subscribe, and peace, peace love, love, and, and happiness. happiness. <laughs> All right. We'll catch you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.